Anna Richardson, 52, has expressed she is going through a hellish menopause, but still has dreams to start a family. Aware that she is unable to conceive naturally, the Naked Attraction star said she is on the hunt for other options, after meeting her new boyfriend. She has said that two options are clear for her, adoption or surrogacy. The Channel 4 star has added however, that she is still trying to weigh up what the best option is for her personally. She told Closer magazine that she wants all the staples of a healthy, settled life, but fears time is running out. I wake up every morning and think time is running out. I'm very clear that I want to be in a stable relationship, get married and start a family eventually. She continued, I've started those baby steps by looking at adoption. I've also thought about whether I would want to go down the surrogacy route or if I would want an egg donor and sperm donor. Anna added, at 52 I know I'm over the hill for it, but there are so many options. It's the one thing I haven't done yet, but I'm hopeful it will happen. Until last year, Anna was in a relationship with comedian and former Great British Bake Off host Sue Perkins, 53. The TV stars, whose relationship had lasted seven years, were devastated when going their separate ways. Disagreements reportedly came after the pair couldn't come to a decision on children and family. Prior to Sue, Anna was in an 18-year relationship with Charles Martin, but it came to an end as he was away all the time. Fears about starting a family come with an added weight as the star has suffered miscarriages and an ectopic pregnancy in the past. Anna previously said her menopause began at the age of 46. She treated her menopause symptoms, which included depression and anxiety, with therapy and medication. This comes as, despite remaining tight-lipped about the identity of her new love interest, she has nevertheless stated that she is back on the dating scene. She told The Mirror about her blossoming romance, saying, It's all about communication and rapport. It's about understanding the other person enough that, you know what, it is that they need for you. For example, this morning, I'm dating, I've got a boyfriend, and already my boyfriend has said to me I haven't spent enough time with you, so his love language is time, he needs my time to feel loved. Whereas actually, I quite like to receive texts saying, something like, I'm thinking about you and I love you, 